Hey everybody, this is Chris, and I've got a new tutorial for you. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a simple blog using just routes for Laravel. Uh, this is going to be my last Laravel tutorial using Laravel 3.2. All future tutorials on Laravel will be using Laravel 4 when it comes out. It's supposed to be out this week or next week. So, <coughs> excuse me. Well, kind of cold weather's changing so much here. Uh, so without further ado, I've already got my development server set up. Uh, this is going to be loosely based on uh, Dale Reese's sort of simple blog that he has in his book. Uh, it's uh, called Code Happy. Code Happy, it's an application development with the Laravel PHP framework for beginners. I suggest everybody pick it up. You can pick up the soft uh, soft cover for twenty seventy nine, or you can pick up the um, ebook for nine ninety nine. I picked up the soft cover because I prefer to have a physical book. Uh, it's up to you, but it's a great book. Uh, Dale is a, I mean, if you read his just his little brief bio here, <coughs> he's a member of the Laravel PHP development team, the core team. So to have a book by somebody that's actually part of the core team is uh, pretty helpful. So we're going to go back into the Sublime text here and I already have everything set up. I'll be using Bootstrap so you're going to have that installed into your public CSS and public JS files. Uh, I'll be using the, rem the remote uh, the Google hosted jQuery uh, also. So Let's go ahead and just set up some, do some housekeeping here. We're gonna set up our key. So we'll just get rid of that. Go into the command li command line. I'm using uh, <coughs> the git shit, the git shell for GitHub for Windows. So I'm just gonna go in here and PHP artisan. Uh, I think it's key generate. Pretty sure and. Let's see here. Uh, what? Let's go that. Control save. I don't think I saved it. Before I went in here. Back into our terminal. Just hit up like this. There we go. And there it is. We'll save that. And we'll go into the database here. And we'll go down here, and this is fine except for my database name is not database. I believe it's simple. I'll check that again by just going into here, and it is simple. That's the name of it. So we have that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and generate some migrations. I actually generate some models and uh, schemas. So. First off, we're going to PHP artisan migrate install. So now we'll install our. What is this now? Oh. I didn't save my database files. So. Control S, Alt Tab, back in there. And there we go. So, pardon me for that. That probably won't be the first mistake I make today. So I have that. Now it's going to go ahead and generate these. So PHP artisan generate model. Generate model, generate migration. Let's see, generate migration is what it is. So, PHP artisan generate migration. I am using Jeffrey Way's uh, generate plugin. And if you've watched my other tutorials on Laravel, you can see where you can get that at. So, PHP artisan generate migration, and we're going to call it. First one, 
We're going to drag it to so create users table. All right. The first field we're going to have is the username. We'll just type string. The next one's going to be email, which we'll is type string. And the third one is going to be password, which we'll is type string. So enter here. We created our first one. I'm just going to hit the up arrow key back in here, and the next one I'm going to make is posts. So, because you need posts for a blog. Uh, so, our first one's going to be first view is going to be title, which is going to be type string, and the next one's going to be text. Actually body just type text uh, and it I think it's gonna be this it's author ID and it's gonna be type integer hit enter and that's going and we're gonna make a few changes to these so let's first go into our users table <coughs> our user actually this one's wrong so let's go ahead and delete that file and we'll go back in here and we didn't actually use a name so and that was my fault so this is going to be create posts table and then I'll go back in and you know title string. I was gonna head of myself here. Body text and author ID is gonna be type integer. There we go. So let's go back in the create users table. And the username, we're just going to give it some limits. So this limit's going to be 128 characters. <coughs> the email is going to be 128 characters. The password is going to be 64. And we can hit Control S and save that. Go into the posts, and we're going to make the title. Give the title element of 128 also. So everything looks good, and we can save all that. Next, we're going to move into. We're going to create our master view. So let's go into view. Let's go ahead and create a new file. Save that. I'll call that master at blade. Dot php. <coughs> and I'll be using a. Uh, like I said, I'll be using uh, Twitter Bootstrap. So let me just get this in here. I'm using also using Emmet. I uh, did a Zen coding tutorial earlier, so I'm just going to give it a simple title, a simple blog. This is going to be really simple. There's not going to be much to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pull in the Google hosted jQuery and we're going to go ahead and start coding here we're going to bring in our style sheets so style CSS forward slash style dot CSS it's going to be our first one this one's going to be I'm going to copy this one, actually. Paste it here. And we're just going to save that to bootstrap.css. One more. And script. So it's js forward slash. And we're just going to bootstrap. 
that JS. So that's enough for the, uh, the head tag. Let's go and move into the body. We're going to have a div with a class of nav bar. Inside that div, we're going to have another div with a class of nav bar enter. So dot nav bar enter. And we'll just go ahead and go from there. Uh, inside of this inner nav bar, we're just going to have another link. So we're just going to have HTML link. <laughs> Can't spell today. HTML link. We're just going to link it back to the home route, the default route. It's going to be a simple blog. It's just going to be the name of it. We'll go over an array. The class is going to be brand. Okay. Then we we're going to have our ordered list with the class of nav. So ul dot nav. I'm going to throw in some. Actually, let's get rid of one of these U's. We use an FL statement, just like in our login, uh, my login tutorial. We're just going to check to make sure that the user is logged in. So this is going to be at if space auth guest. Um, do this so li let's open some tags here html link admin and value is going to be login it's not necessary to keep these spaces but I'm just really anal retentive about it, I guess. We got else. And here's going to be two of them. So we're going to have li HTML link uh, admin Admin. I didn't put in the closing one, so it's not doing it for me. So that's that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Move down the line, paste that, and we're just going to give it a log out. So log out route. Values log out. And just clean this up a little bit. And last but not least, we need an end if. So at end if. Okay, that's good enough for that right now. I'm gonna go into this below this div and just have a div for the class of container. Sorry about that. Tab. We're just gonna have an H1. It's a simple blog. Go down one more and just em a simple blog using Laravel. All right, blow that. We're just gonna throw in another div, in the class of container. So dot container. And then inside there, we're going to yield our content. Like so. 
Okay, so in this first video we have effectively set up our Laravel installation and we've got our master page created. In the next one we're going to go ahead and move on to some more views and then move on to the routes. So like I said everything's going to be on the route. We're not going to use controllers at all. We're going to use a model. We're going to use migration. We're going to use a model and we're going to use routes. And we're going to use views. So not really MVC but maybe MVR. So model view routes. So just stay tuned and we'll be using the putting up the next tutorial shortly. Thanks.